Good morning, dear students. Uh, welcome to your Google Classroom. Uh, uh, also, welcome to the discussion on Usha Yeshudasan's short essay, Justice versus Mercy. Uh, and uh, see, uh, today we are going to study a short essay. Uh, see, uh, I, I repeat the word short because it is short compared to the other essays in your collection. Uh, you have studied Arundhati Roy pretty long, uh, isn't it? You have studied uh, Charles Lamb long it is. Uh, again, uh, you have studied Albert Camus. It was a long essay, isn't it? But this time you have a very short essay and a very informative one. And uh, the author, Usha Eshudasan, uh, I think may not be very much uh, familiar to you. And so, before going to the text, uh, Justice versus Mercy, let me introduce the author uh, to you. Uh, and so, Usha Eshudasan, uh, she is a freelance writer. Uh, she used to contribute articles to uh, uh, um, Hindu, Indian Express and so on. And again, uh, she wrote many inspirational articles about life, uh, values and so on. Uh, she wrote many inspirational articles in books and periodicals. Her books philosophize on life, values and ethics, bringing hope and positive energy to her readers. As she was brought up in the UK, she did her BA in Education and Philosophy at the University of North Wales, UK. And then, uh, see, uh, some of her uh, works. Uh, I will just give you the names of uh, uh, some of her works. Uh, I will lie down in peace. Then another one, being an instrument of peace. Uh, then another, the fitness instinct, a revolutionary new approach to the healthy. Then another one, a child's path. Then when winter comes, then another one, and he embraced him. Uh, these are uh, some of the works written by Usha Eshudasan. Uh, she was uh, uh, focusing on values. Uh, she was trying to fill positive energy in her readers. She always stood for peace and harmony. And she says that peace and reconciliation, forgiveness, uh, these are the important values that we need in this postmodern world. Uh, and so, and again she says that uh, your forgiveness can make revolutionary changes in the society. A society will improve when the individuals in it uh, have a positive attitude to life. And so that is Usha Eshudasan. She was, and, and again she co-authored the textbooks for value education from classes 1 to 10. Uh, and again she was an amb ambassador for uh, the World Council of Churches and she has worked with communities all over the world and again within India, plagued and decimated by injustice and violence. And so uh, she came in close contact with many communities inside India, outside India, and uh, she was with people who suffered injustice and violence. The concepts of peace and reconciliation uh, is the main topic of her writings. I told you, peace, forgiveness, reconciliation, uh, these are the concepts uh, that are uh, mainly discussed in her essays. 
Well, she represented India at the Peace Education Conference at Belfast in 2002. Uh, and so, uh, that is uh, Usha Yeshudasan. See, once again, Usha Yeshudasan uh, is a freelance writer. She used to write inspirational articles and books. Uh, she wrote about life values and ethics. Through her writings, she was trying to fill uh, hope and positive energy in her readers. Uh, she strongly believed that only peace and reconciliation can save this world. Uh, and uh, peace and compassion are the virtues which are needed in this postmodern world. And uh, uh, she had written uh, many works and I have given you the names of some of them. I Will Lie Down in Peace, Being an Instrument of Peace, The Fitness Instinct, A Revolutionary New Approach to the Healthy, uh, A Child's Path, When Winter Comes and He Embraced Him. These are this, uh, some of the books written by Usha J. Sudhasan. And then uh, she co-authored textbooks, uh, textbooks uh, that is value education books uh, for classes 1 to 10. Uh, and she was the ambassador for the World Council of Churches. Uh, she worked with many communities all over the world, inside India, outside India. And she came into contact with people who suffer greatly uh, because of injustice and violence. And uh, uh, what are the favorite themes of Usha Yeshudasan? Uh, peace and reconciliation. They are the main topics in her writings. She represented India at the Peace Education Conference at Belfast in 2002. And then coming to the short essay, uh, we will be read. See, uh, please uh, open your text, dear students. Uh, you have the text with you. Uh, please keep it open. I won't be reading it completely, but I will be reading a little because uh, it's a short one. Uh, usually, we will be discussing the text and we won't be reading much. Uh, but here it's a short one. Uh, we, will, uh, we will read some lines from the text. And before that, uh, justice versus mercy. Uh, what is it? It is a short essay that dwells on the twin at opposed concepts of justice and mercy. Uh, and so, uh, here, uh, what are the topics discussed in this particular essay? Uh, justice and mercy. And we know that both of them are positive concepts. But Usha Yeshudasan proves that uh, they are opposed to each other at times. Uh, they are twin concepts. Uh, but, uh, oppos uh, but sometimes uh, um, uh, they are opposite concepts. That the, uh, is, uh, the meaning is that uh, when you are merciful, uh, you won't be able to show uh, justice to the letters. Uh, see, and when you are going for justice alone, you may become merciless. Uh, that is the key point that is suggested. Uh, uh, and for that, uh, she uses the story of Sean Beljan. Uh, see, uh, have you heard about the great French classical work uh, Les Mirables? Uh, you know, it is written by Victor Hugo. Uh, and I think almost all of us are familiar with this story. And uh, you know the hero uh, in that classic work. Uh, he is, uh, see, we usually pronounce it as Jean Walgin, isn't it? Uh, I think now the name is familiar to you, Jean Walgin. But uh, the French pronunciation, the right pronunciation is Jean Valjean. Okay, uh, and so uh, hereafter use the right French pronunciation. Uh, that is uh, Jean Valjean. Uh, and again, uh, people used to say, Les Mirables, Miserables, no, uh, Les Mirables. 
and so that is the right pronunciation okay you know the person uh, john well john uh, and again uh, he was uh, uh, or when the story begins you will see well john as an ex convict 